officially cut out the passenger side uh, quarter panel. Uh, I'll show you the steps that I'm going to do. I'll probably play a little bit of music over uh, the audio that I'll be doing. I'll be doing the cutting out, drilling, and uh, the grinding. But uh, let me spin you around here and I'll show you what we've got to do. I've got it marked off. My bad area is right here. And I've went up about three or four inches higher. And I've marked all the way around. That's the line that I'm going to cut on. All right. Right here, I've got to take a wire wheel and strip all this off so I'll know where the spot welds are. All this stuff right here is is like a it's like a body filler to keep it from leaking water or something like that in here. You just take your wire wheel and go along the seam right here and it'll it'll come right out. Uh, the back side, there's a couple of spot welds that will be in here. Uh, I'll take the wire wheel also and remove the paint to expose those. And then down here on the very bottom, uh, there's probably two or three along the very bottom lip uh, that I'll have to expose. And I'll use, again, this bit here to uh, to get the spot weld out. That's a spot weld remover. I'll start off roughly in the middle of the spot weld and I'll make a little bit of indention. I won't go all the way through. I'll just go enough to keep that bit to have this point right here to keep the bit from walking around when I'm trying to drill it out. Always, always, always wear eye protection and uh, stuff like that. So. Uh, I'm no expert at this. This is the first time I've done it. Uh, I have watched videos on uh, how to do this stuff, but uh, this is going to be my project truck, so I want to do as much as I can on my own. I have gotten some advice from uh, some professional uh, auto body uh, technicians in my local area. They've told me roughly how to do it. But without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. guys real quick here I'll show you what I was talking about those spot welds if you can see you see a little little indent right here that's one spot weld I have another one here uh, that's it for that there's two spot welds that I'll be cutting out there and if you look here there's one spot weld there one there one there this one's a little dented in here and I'll straighten it up whenever I get this corner panel off. And then <clears throat> on the back side, we have one little indent here, so that's a spot weld. One here, that's a spot weld, and one up here, that's a spot weld. So what I'll do is I'll cut along that line, and first I'll remove these spot welds, and then I'll cut along the line, and that'll make it a whole lot easier getting that that quarter panel off of it. So, let's get uh, get back to it.
next what I'll do is I will follow along this line and I'll cut so I'll know I've already got it leveled out so I've got a good straight line all the way around and I'll cut it and then I'll put this piece in my other one mark it cut it just a little bit big that way when I put the other one up here I can always trim a little off at a time until I get a perfect fit so let me put some tape on this to get me a good reference line now what I'll do is I'll switch my grinding wheel out to a cutoff wheel and whenever you cut this wherever your mark you want to cut your panel off make sure you're in between a spot weld it'll help you out a lot you don't want to cut right on a spot weld because well it's obvious but <clears throat> let me get this and I'll get it ready to cut this all the way around and then we'll be able to take a uh, like a flat headed screwdriver or something and get behind this little panel and we'll slowly get it off Now what we're going to do is just take a simple screwdriver, we'll take this tape off of here, and uh, we'll just take a simple little flat headed screwdriver and go in between the panels here, start down here at the bottom, and as you can see, the welds, that spot weld remover, has already got all those broken loose just like that and then we'll have to do the same thing under the bottom you how simple this is uh, using that spot weld remover show you how simple this is all I know is just you seen it uh, I'm not cutting out of the footage out I pried it away now I should be able to just pull this body panel off just like that and as you can see it gets the three spot welds, but I didn't go through the other metal. I'll get all this dirt and this is uh, like a sticky piece behind here. You see where it's collected all the rust from the inside of this panel. But it's got all the spot welds off. What I'll do is I'll clean all this up. I'll grind it down nice and smooth. All the sides, even in here. And then I'll make my own spot welds in my new panel. I'll have to drill me some holes and what I'll do is I'll put four throughout three or four maybe three but either way I'll space them out and I'll do three on the bottom and two on the side but it doesn't matter where you put them because after you get done welding this off all this is is just a weld you'll uh, you, I'm sorry after you get done grinding this off you'll grind every one of these little divots off Clean this up real good. I like to spray it with some paint or or some uh, something good, real protective. But uh, all this is is just nasty old rust that was on here. So, like I said, I'll clean this all up. Clean this up. I will take a uh, flat disc. I call it. It's the little round uh, disc that you put on your four-inch grinder, and it has little pieces of sandpaper all around it. You get different grit works perfect. I'll clean all this up down to bare metal. I'll use this as a template to cut out my other one 
like I said, I'll make it just maybe a quarter or an eighth inch higher than what this should be. That way I can always keep going to the grinder and slowly grinding it down to where I need it, to where it fits right back in there. So uh, let's get some, I'll, I'll clean all this up, uh, try to get the piece cut and we'll come back. All right guys, as you can see, I've got my spot wells ground down, flush with the metal. Got this cleaned up, got these spot wells ground down. All over here, got this cleaned up above here so I can get a good weld. Now I'll take me some acetone and, and uh, clean this up. I've also got my uh, quarter panel cut out of there. Got the uh, prep paint, I call it, uh, already cleaned up. Got my spot welds cut out, as you can see, all around. Um, I did have to trim my lip right there as well as right there. But all in all, uh, let me put it up here. As you can see, she's going to fit pretty good. Now all I got to do is just get my, my, uh, my spot welds in through there and uh, tack it slowly as I go all through there. So, uh, get sitting in there perfect, but um, I start at one spot and start working across shaping the metal. Uh, it looks like a, it's off level, but it's actually I got it cut up just a little high right here. But uh, let me get all this wiped down with some acetone so it's good and clean, uh, and then I'll spot weld it, uh, clean up all the welds nice and level, uh, put some acetone on it again. I will have to use a little bit of body filler uh, just to make sure it's got a nice smooth finish for the, uh, for the paint. And I'll put a little bit of primer on it and call it good. So uh, let's get busy. All right guys, so I got some spot welding done as you can see. Got a few little Next here that I've got to go ahead and finish grinding out and then uh, clean it all up. Um, what I do is drill a few holes, small holes, all the way around so the body filler can sit down inside of it. Uh, when you put your body filler on it, it, you push it in a little bit and them holes, the body filler will go inside the little drill, the screw holes and it will help hold that bondo on there if, like any vibration or anything. But, as you can see, I've got it all lined up. Uh, I've got it pretty, pretty nasty back here. <clears throat> uh, it did get a little heat warp right here, but that's nothing a little bit of body filler can't take care of. Uh, I will clean all this up a little bit better. I'll probably put down a little bit more weld through here, grind it off a little bit more. Uh, the only thing bad about these aftermarket body panels is you can see I've got my curve all right through here. It's all nice and level through here. But they are just slightly bigger, and you can see. So what I'll do is I'll take a little uh, cutter, and I'll cut that excess metal all the way down to keep the body line straight. I'll finish welding all this in, clean all this right here up also. But it's definitely better than what it was considering it was rusted out. Thank you for watching. God bless each and every one of y'all. Until next time.